The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. All right, Chuck, if you would uh, start us off uh, with a statement about the offense. Yeah, it's uh, great to be here with y'all today. Um, been an interesting two weeks, so to, and I think we've gotten better since the day we kicked it off. Um, two weeks. Glad we still have about 12 days left because um, we do need to continue to get better. But from day one to day, uh, whatever it is, 12 today, uh, you know, I'm pleased with the the growth, maturity that we've we've started to gain. Um, got a bunch of great kids that are working extremely hard and a tremendous staff that uh, puts them in the positions to be successful. So as far as that goes, I'm, I'm uh, happy where we are, but at the same time, we need to get a lot better uh, before we open it up. Questions for Coach Peters. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like your biggest leaps on offense need to come as uh, the season rapidly approaches here? I think probably just a consistency. Um, there's, uh, you know, it's not all about knowing the play, but it's how you execute the play. And and I think our kids right now understand what we're trying to do. Uh, they're trying to do the things that they're capable of doing. But I think from week one to week whenever we end it, uh, you'll see a much more consistent, a much more physical, and a, a team that plays faster because they understand a little bit more at that point. How did option football change from when you left college and then you had that 11-year gap? I mean, because it went from just the service academies running it and everybody ran like their own version of a triple option. Yep. Just what, I, I'm just curious your thoughts on how that has evolved. Well, I think everybody has their own ideas of what the option is. Uh, for us here, uh, it's very similar to what I did at Air Force for a long time. Obviously very similar to what Navy did. Um, so for me, there hasn't been a huge change from what we were doing with Chance Harridge at Air Force in the early 2000s to what Navy did with Keenan Reynolds um, and uh, excited to put uh, kind of our stamp on the program here and see see where that takes us. Had you been surprised with some of the kids like they mentioned with the, the coaching about well, they weren't recruited to do this but they've stayed, they've bought in. Have you been surprised how they've adapted so quickly to your offense? You know, not surprised. Um, kind of learned a long time ago that nothing surprises me, good or bad. I, I do think this is a phenomenal group of kids. From the day we walk through the door, uh, they have done, for the most part, everything we've asked them to do. And they bought in from day one and continued to do that. Um, that's what encourages me uh, as we move forward because um, – uh, you know, there there was a lot of reason probably for them not to buy in, but they have. And that's why when we will have success, it'll be fun to uh, for them to be able to reap the benefits of that. Uh, coming from service academies to, you know, private university, that, how has the, the students, how have the students changed? I mean, oh, there's, there's difference, like they talk about, you know, going into the military versus people here would be going, maybe some of the military, some of the other different you know, facets of life. Is, is there any difference between the students or is it just the same kind of kids? Kids are kids. Um, these guys have uh, longer hair and braids. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> other than that, um, no, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I don't know if you can categorize it one way or the other. Um, I love the kids we have here and uh, the buy-in as we just talked about. So for me, there's really not a whole lot of difference. Right. No, I think that's a great question. Um, I think, number one, when you look at us offensively, I want you to to see uh, the physical nature of what we do. Um, We're not going to finesse people. And and I think bottom line is we're going to try to be the most physical football team on the field. Uh, Obviously, we emphasize taking care of the football. Um, You might see one series where we go one play and hopefully score. And then the next series, we may get 15 plays and seven minutes on the clock. And and so for us, it's about doing whatever we can do to be successful. But I do think 
there's a physical nature to this offense that probably isn't seen day in and day out by most people.